Hi, my name is Danielle Krug. I'm a current student at MCC and I've just completed my online English 250 professional communications course. The textbook that we use for the class is only from a few years ago, but there's things that I would like to update to the curriculum to better reflect business trends in communicating. Businesses nowadays use a lot of newer technologies on the internet to communicate with each other. There's three things that my proposal will have. Uh, the first thing is to explain of these new technologies. The second thing is to explain the benefits of each technology to the businesses. And the third is to explain how to use them. The first technology I'm going to talk about is called teleconferencing or video conferencing. Uh, teleconferencing is a telephone or video meeting between two or more people in two or more locations. This is similar to a phone call except the discussion branched out to more people. For a traditional telephone conference, a speaker telephone is used. For a video conferencing, there's many other things that can be used. You can use it through video cameras, it can be done through computer modems, and specialized software. One of the specialized software that um, some businesses use today, it, um, it's called IBM Lotus Live. Um, Lotus Live is a program that provides web meeting services, but it also um, helps share large documents with each other over the internet without the use of a conference meeting in person. Um, and this can also be done without the use of firewalls. A lot of other software, it's hard for companies to communicate back and forth because there's firewalls that come up with computers and they're unable to do it. But this software um, provides, uh, provides them to communicate without firewalls or blocking from the internet. Uh, some of the benefits of the Lotus Live, um, it can reach out to any area, including both and sparsely populated areas. Um, the second thing is that there's a broader access to public meetings. Uh, since they don't have to meet in one place, they can, it can be done in their comfort of their own office. So businesses from all over the place can stay where they are and they can still have a meeting together uh, through the webcams and uh, the web conferencing. And since, there's, uh, since it's easier to do that, there's more participants in the conference which could benefit the company in the long run because the more participate, the more ideas come into the meeting and the more ideas that are generated, the, bez the better business can do. Um, it also saves time and travel costs since the other companies taking part in the meeting don't have to spend money on airfare or gas to travel to the meeting. They can just stay where they are, um, which is also good for the environment. A lot of businesses today are going green and um, without using cars and planes to get to the meetings, it's greener and better for the environment. Uh, and then the last, the last benefit is businesses can get more accomplished with fewer resources. Since they don't have to have coffee for the customers, they don't have to have a big conferencing room, it can be done where you are. Uh, they save a lot of uh, resources and they do get more done. Um, how do you use it? IBM's Lotus Live website, you can log in and you can sign up for a free trial right online. Uh, and the free trial, I think it's seven days and the company can try it out and if they like it, they can go back to the website and they can purchase it online or they can go to a store and purchase the software. And once the software is downloaded, it's very simple to use. There's also uh, contacts online you can call that they can come in and, and help if you do have a problem with the software. The second thing is called a professional um, Professional networking is a type of marketing method that businesses use to create opportunities with other similar people through networks. One type of popular networking program is called LinkedIn. Um, according to this website, I'm going to uh, quote something, uh, LinkedIn is an interconnected network of experienced professionals from around the world representing 170 industries in 200 countries. You can find, be introduced to, collabor and collaborate with qualified professionals that you need to work with to accomplish your goals. That was a quote from the website. Um, this is a networking website that allows you to create your own profile that states your professional expertise and your accomplishments, and other people can view your profile. Um, you, can invite, you can invite in trusted contacts that you do know and um, join with them and connect with their contacts. So your contacts sh uh, share their contacts and, and it branches out into a whole network of people so you're able to be introduced with um, potential clients and um, 
potential professionals that you may hire for your business. So it's, it's a good way to get connected with a lot of people from all over. Um, how do you use it? Oh, uh, here's the benefits. The benefits of professional networking um, of LinkedIn, you can manage the information that's uh, publicly available about uh, you as a professional. Uh, you can find and be in your potential clients again. You can, find, you can find a lot of potential clients through this networking website. Uh, you can create and collaborate on projects, gather data, share files, and solve problems. So you can collaborate with other business uh, people that you meet through the contacts, and you can um, be introduced to a lot of new business opportunities through this. Uh, there's, you can gain new insights from discussions. You can discover inside connections and post and distribute jobs if your company is looking for, uh, to hire someone. And uh, how do you use it? Signing up for LinkedIn is very easy. Uh, you sign up right online, just like the IBM's Lotus Live. Uh, you can sign up right at the LinkedIn's homepage. Um, there's simple and easy steps once you log in to show you how to create your profile and, and to give you steps on how to meet new contacts and, and, and network. Uh, the, the third thing that I want to introduce the proposal is called blogging. Um, what is blogging? A blog or a web blog is a kind of website containing regular and sometimes daily entries about a particular matter. Um, blogs usually uh, have a place for readers to comment and there's usually contains links for the readers uh, to be linked to and sometimes there's photographs. Uh, a lot of blogs are used as a sort of diary for people commenting on daily events or things happening in their lives. However, uh, blogging can also be utilized as a marketing tool for businesses to communicate to a wider audience. And then one type of web blog is called HubSpot, which is right here. Um, HubSpot has two software versions, uh, one for marketing professionals and one for business owners. Uh, there's a seven-day free trial for this software. Um, and just like uh, IBM's Lotus Live, there's a seven-day free trial. And if your company decides that they do like this, it can be purchased right online and um, paid through monthly payments. Let's go back. Uh, here are the benefits of HubSpot. Um, it can help businesses get found on the Internet. It, can, uh, it uses new and effective approaches to marketing. So HubSpot is basically um, a program that your company can buy, and they can utilize the blogging on the website to get their name out there. But HubSpot also offers new marketing tools um, that can help get their name recognized in search engines. So if a company is searching on Google for a certain type of business, it gets, it gets your company's name out there so that your name pops up more on search engine bars. Um, and it's less, less expensive to do it this way, and it's more effective. So there's no need to spend money on uh, printing flyers or uh, printing advertising for your business or hiring people to do cold calling to houses. Um, this is kind of the, the new wave of technology. It's all done on the Internet now. Um, and it's, it's a lot easier to help get your name out there through the Internet than just calling random people at their homes or printing out flyers. So it saves a lot of money that way. Um, and it gets companies linked to many other blogs. So if there's someone's blogging about a certain company, it gets your name out there so that when people are reading these blogs, they can see your name and hopefully uh, you can get recognized. So the closing, um, by implementing these three new technologies, which was teleconferencing, networking,